was rolled back four hours ago, and some of the operational people that you see here in Jupiter were here at about two this afternoon. We're coming up on the one minute mark, and you will hear the DDO hopefully call out the one minute mark, and we'll be into the final. A tous de DDO, attention pour moins une minute. There he was, right on time. He's going to call out the one minute mark. Top H0 moins une minute. We are into the final 60 seconds of this third Vega mission. We want to say hi to all of our friends taking the broadcast in Astana at the Space Agency, to the ESA, Kness, and Arian Space Offices, our industrial partners ELV Avio in Coliferro, to Airbus in Toulouse, and to all of you watching on the Internet. Sit back and enjoy the show. You're watching Ariane Space's Vega flight number three, and we're launching Kaz Eosat-1 for Kazakhstan, the nation's first Earth observation satellite. We're going to cut away now, let you hear the DDO as he calls out the final 10 seconds in the countdown, and we'll be back after Vega has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff. A tous de DDO, attention pour la séquence finale. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Top, allumage P80, décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. Off she went like a shot, I told you. You saw Vega rise like an arrow, surprisingly fast. If you're used to watching Ariane, those of you familiar with the Ariane flights know that the heavier launcher rises much more slowly than Vega. The DDO is saying that all is nominal on board, everything functioning normally. After lifting off perfectly from French Guiana, beginning the third mission in her young career, Vega is flying a year after her successful second flight. The fine shots, people watching from the beaches, from their cars, and from the observation sites here around the base, getting some fine videos and photos. 136 tons at liftoff, Ariane 5 weighing over six times that much, remember. Vega lifting a satellite weighing 829 kilos tonight. There are some links between Vega and Ariane, which we're going to look at in just a minute, but for now, the flight path. Vega flies over the Atlantic, north over the Bermudas, then over Canada, La then down over Russia and Australia, Australia, then back up South America from south to north. She then makes a second pass over the Bermuda Islands and Canada, then again down over Russia. And the Avum, the upper stage, will finally splash down in the southern Indian Ocean, but that's over two hours from now. We won't see it. What we do see is the first stage that's burning now and just been separated right on time. The first stage weighs 97 tons. The 88 tons of that are fuel. We're into the second stage burn. The second stage is called the Zephyr, ZZ-23. Burns its solid rocket motor for 86 seconds. It weighs 25 tons. 23 of those are fuel. On the upper right hand corner of her screen you see the cursor crawling up the uh, the line there. The line is actually two lines. One is the optimal flight trajectory, the other is the real-time trajectory. As long as they're the one and the same and they're superimposed one on another, we're right where we should be. And the cursor is of course Vega climbing up for her mission as she crosses the Atlantic North. Avio an Italian firm is responsible for production, integration, and testing of both the Zephyro th second and third stages. Both are produced in Colifero, near Rome, at their facilities. Then, like the first stage, they're loaded with solid propellant before being shipped here to the spaceport, which is not very different from what's done with Ariane 5. We mentioned some of the similarities. The upper segment of the Ariane 5 booster is also loaded in Colifero, same place, same teams, with 26 tons of solid propellant and then shipped out here to French Guiana. Coming up in about 20 seconds is separation of the second stage.
The same Ariane 5 facilities and equipment here at the Guyana propellant plant, which is at the spaceport, are used for Vega's first stage propellant loading and transport. And the stage's nozzle is also an evolution from that of Ariane 5 boosters. So without Ariane 5, you don't really get Vega and vice versa. Second stage has been separated. Separation Z23. And we're waiting for ignition of the third stage. The DDO will call out that confirmation. And then we will also have separation of the fairing. There is the ignition of the third stage. The four meter long, and there is the Allumage separation Z9. of the fairing, revealing separation our satellite to the elements. The fairing consists of two half shells which protect the payload from shocks during Vega's ascent through the atmosphere. The industrial team is a big one working on the fairing. Italian, Spanish, German, Belgian, normal, French, Swiss, Ukrainian, and Swedish firms all participating in the design and development of the fairing. Everything is running on schedule.